Hey everybody, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I am Bueller, and uh, today is a very special episode of Coffee and Comics with Comics on Coffee. And I had to remember to say that right because you know it's a lot of words. Exactly. But as you guys can see, I'm not alone. I got Tanya and Tony here with me, and not only is Tanya and Tony here with me, but they are the creators of comics on coffee how are you guys doing today excellent excellent fully caffeinated how about yourself really cool. it's so good to see you guys we've been friends for a long time you guys have been supporters of my channel for many years actually one of the first supporters of the channel and uh it's been a pretty good relationship over the last four or five years wouldn't you say oh absolutely yeah, yeah it's been been great working with you yeah, like I said before we started, I'm going to put them on the spot so they got to give me good answers. So, you know, everyone's watching now, so they got to be really nice behind the scenes. They yell quite a bit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we always start the episode with what we're drinking, and I want to show you guys what I'm drinking. Obviously, I'm drinking uh, the uh, Comics on Coffee. I'm drinking the Joker Brew, which is the blueberry, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to take a little sip. This is my, my third cup of coffee. Yeah, that's pretty good. Tastes even better in the mug. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, guys, you know the drill. What are you guys drinking? Here, okay, so I've got uh, the orange mug, and I'm drinking Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's a hazelnut, and I picked that one because it's the one I know uh, Bueller hasn't tried yet. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I'm still still waiting. It's still waiting. <laughs> Which is amazing, oh, Bueller. It, so I'm really missing out. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't they wouldn't share when I was at, with them in Florida. So maybe next time. But Tony, what are you drinking? I've got our green uh mug that no one can get anymore. It's um Wonder Woman or Coconut Pecan. Still my there go-to. Go. I still have one Wonder Woman K cup left. Is are they called K cups? We call them we call K pods. K pods. You know what? Whatever. K pods. Yeah. But uh, I have one Wonder Woman left. It's the coconut. I like that one. Actually, my mom, that's my mom's favorite. She's a big coconut fan. So there you go. But uh, like I said, this is like a, like a smaller version of the Coffee and Comics show. So let me kind of give you guys a rundown of what we're going to do today. Uh, obviously, we started off with what we're drinking. We're also going to do the famous final and first five, which everyone is very excited. We have a topic as well. Our topic is going to be what got you in the comics and we're going to find out from these two right here what got them in the comics. We're also going to do a special edition of Was It Good? And I'm really looking forward to that. And we're going to get to know these two as well. And if you guys aren't aware, you guys can go to their website and you can enter. There's a code. There's a code called Bueller. It's spelled just how it sounds. B-U-E-L-L-E-R. You enter that code. Guess what? You say 15% on all your coffee goodness from Comics on Coffee. And that code's been there for a while. Right? Yeah. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's staying there. So please go use yeah. it. Give yourself some, some money when you buy this coffee. It's good coffee and you're supporting two great people. Well, let's go ahead and get to our first five. I'm going to start first so that way you kind of see how it goes. And I'm going to stick with the theme because I know you guys have some license with DC Comics. So I'm just I'm going to show some DC Comics. So let me show my first one here. For the first five, it's Batman Urban Legends. This is a commission cover art, and uh, this one is by Tony Scott. So, very mm-hmm. nice cover right there. I know you guys are a fan of artwork, so I want to show that off. And then I have uh, Batman number 181 facsimile, and that's a commission cover art as well. And this one is by Mario Nicieza, I believe. So look at that, and uh, you know Batman. They they got Batman coffee, so that's why I'm showing the Batman stuff right there. I have the good old Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. This is all the DC characters: Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, you name it. All those guys, and like I said, they do the DC coffee, so it all ties in. See what I'm doing here? And then uh, we have Detective Comics number one thousand, and this is a famous. Frank Miller variant right here. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys used this image on one of your flyers. Yeah. And I've handed out a hundred right. of those, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then the last one, I found another DC book, Wonder Woman. Speaking of Wonder Woman, the coconut coffee. There you go. This Wonder Woman by Lobos uh, cover. It's a variant. He signed it for me. I think I got this at Megacon. 
and very nice shiny goodness but that is my first five and you know what all these see themes but i'm going to turn it over to you guys and they're going to do something a little different because you know what they're all about drinking stuff whether it's coffee <laughs> whether it's something else that they love drinking <laughs> and so what is your guys's first five yeah sure you got a couple of things. Oh, looks like they're going to the bags. Wonder Woman. Art by David Finch. Oh, you like that guy, don't you? I do. Oh, yeah. I'm He's a big awesome. fan. He's a fan of our coffee, too, by the way. I, I'm fully aware of that. I've had a conversation <laughs> with him about it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Superman. Tony nice. likes this a lot. Yeah. We've got the vintage comics on the back here. Very cool. Uh, oh, vanilla mocha. Oh, there we are. Vanilla goodness. The blue beetle's my other favorite. Uh, there you go. The theatrical, so it's the mo the movie Blue Beetle. Yeah, and um, that's a sh that's a shiny cover right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it looks a lot better in person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's our horchata. So it's got a cinnamon vanilla. Mm -hmm. uh, flavor. Um, Ivan Reese, who is the art here. There you uh, go. I think that might be Jim Lee. Yeah, that's awesome. Right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. yeah. Irish cream. Was that four? That's, that's four. Oh, yeah. One more to go. Man, <laughs> they, 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 they're new. count. Mad Love by uh, Bruce Tim. There you go. Raspberry. That one's really popular. You like no. that. You tried that one. You like that one a lot, right? Yeah. So that is our first five. And really, I, I want to tell you guys who are watching, I wanted them, I asked them to show the coffee bags because <laughs> they're really cool. They they pick a lot of really cool artwork on these and they're just cool bags and stuff like that. So the final five will be kind of the same thing. I got books, they got coffee. Anyway, that's our first five. We're going to move on to our topic of the day so we get to know these wonderful people. Our topic today is what got you into comics? I'll share my story. But Tanya, we want to hear from you. What got you into comics? What's your backstory? Okay. Um, I don't remember what age I was, but I know I was pretty darn young. Uh, Archie Comics is what really caught my attention at a store one day. Um, I can't remember if my mom bought me a comic or if it was one of those things I just got to, you know, window shop with, but Archie Comics for sure got me interested in comics Archie. alone. Yeah, they're still, I still like them. I, I, still, know, I know. Still to this day, if we go to like a grocery store, I'll pick one up and just, I bought one a few days ago. I, I know. <laughs> I try and block that out. But um, other than Archie, Batman animated series is what really got me into Batman period and Warner, I mean, everything that Warner brothers came out with that in that era, you know, I, I loved it. So that's what really got me hooked. Um, but mostly it was mostly the art, the art of com American comics. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my origin story for comics. Did you have a favorite character growing up besides Archie, as far as superheroes go, was there any of your favorites? Well, Batman for sure. Batman was definitely my favorite superhero. I guess he's always been my favorite, so for sure. Were you a nerd in school? Were you just <laughs> walking around with your trapper keeper with a bunch of comics in there? I wasn't. I think I was a closet nerd. Yeah, you're hiding it. I was. because You met my sister, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I remember, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how old. Maybe we were in junior high, but I think she was like, that's not cool. Don't do it. <laughs> she didn't she didn't allow you to be she, there. She's my so you older sister, so hidden. I was like, okay. <laughs> but uh, and then, um, but I still I would draw a lot. I definitely would draw Batman. Any anything from DC, I would I was drawing it. Looney Tunes, I was drawing. I remember drawing all those characters. Um, gosh, what else was there? What did, Animaniacs? Do you remember oh, that? I yeah. loved all that. So that those were whatever like I watched those after um, afternoon cartoons, Saturday morning cartoons. That's what I was drawing. Yeah. Um, so that was definitely and and half the time, even to this day, I don't even read a, a comic through. I always get distracted by the art. So I'm always, you know, when I pick up a book, I, first thing I look at is the art before yeah. the story. So yeah. 
So yeah, it's um I don't know, I might be a different comic book uh reader. I don't know what you call it. So I'm glad you brought up the artwork because I wanted to uh, ask you about something. So people might not know this, but your original bags that you guys did before, like Outbreak and uh, all that stuff, there was artwork on those bags. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah, we've got it right here. So this is the first coffee bag we actually launched. Uh, Tanya drew it. She yeah. Like little one pagers for the bags. Uh, and that's how, that's how we got started. We just... Um, just did our own thing before uh, we got line licensing with DC. That's what we were doing. Yeah, and all the original bags are all drawn by you. All the uh, with all yep. all the ones I remember seeing all those and stuff. And I don't I don't think I have any more of them, but I remember those. And let me ask you another question about: Have you ever drawn a picture of me before? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have that somewhere? That is. <laughs> you did put me on the spot. That's on my iPad. It's a picture of Bueller with the bus <laughs> behind him. I forget what you... <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> Tony, are you okay with this? Hey, you know what? I'm, used to, I'm used to her drawing superheroes, Bueller, so it, it, it's that's what you are. You're a superhero to us, so it's all good. <laughs> it's unfair. <laughs> oh, he, he, he just walked into that one. That was a lot yeah, of uh, it's unfinished um, okay. but i know right. do you remember i do uh, <laughs> remember i do remember we uh we even wrote a little one page story for bueller <laughs> um it was i guess we can talk about it it was uh no we're under contract with, <laughs> yeah, with bueller can we disclose this information sure, yeah. no so we we wrote a little comic book and basically it was a parody on ferris bueller's day off <laughs> Uh, you park your bus in, in a parking garage, and of course, just like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the guy steals it, takes it for a joy ride. He's like ramping the bus over all kinds of stuff. He <laughs> pulls in and returns it right before you get back to pick it up. And you're so. completely oblivious. And you have no idea. And so that was the quick Bueller comic book she, she did. So I, I want to fill people in just a little bit, and there's a reason why she draws pictures of me, by the way. You know, <laughs> So at one time we had talked about doing a Bueller flavored coffee and uh, I'll be honest, this was quite a while ago and then a lot of stuff has happened since then and which includes the DC license and a bunch of other things. So as far as the Bueller flavored coffee, it's kind of on the back burner has been for a while because their attention is going elsewhere. She doesn't have to draw pictures anymore. She actually gets like David Finch to draw <laughs> pictures and all, all these, uh, these other guys. So. But they're they are very busy. But yes, she does have drawings of me on her tablet. <laughs> still, there, still there, years later. I've only seen one, but I'm pretty sure there's more. You're so ripped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> muscles yeah. are bulging. Hey, that was that was uh, that was foreseeing the future because now I, I've actually got like muscles. I lost a bunch of weight. I'm feeling good, you know. So you were kind of foreseeing what was to come. So I want to appreciate it. And I'm wearing the vest in that one as well. I've seen this picture. Yeah, really vest, yeah. Just so everyone knows. So anyway, uh, I said that, I'll tell you, I'll give you a break. Okay, I'll give you a break a little bit. So Tony, <laughs> let me ask you, uh, what kind of got you into comics? Or, or were you a comic collector at all? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I mean, same thing as everybody, I guess. Batman animated series. I loved all the cartoons as a as a kid. Um, I, I'm a Superman. I like Superman. Superman animated series. I know a lot of people didn't like that one as good. I loved it. Um, so that's pretty much what kind of got me started in comics. A um, couple friends close to me, you know, we'd ride our bikes. I think it was like five miles, maybe not that much. It's what it felt like as a kid. We'd ride our bikes that far down to, you know, the comic book store. We'd spend all day. We had, like, $2 between us. But, you know, we, you know, we'd spend all day reading stuff. And the store owner back then didn't mind. And, you know, we bought what we could. And usually it was just some random. I mean, I don't think back then I ever read anything in order. Like, you know, it was just some random shelf pick, whatever in the dollar bin. Or, you know, I think that time it was, like, 50 cent bin. So that's, you have some of your old Spawn. Yeah, Spawn, I, I remember, uh, like, I guess that was when it came out. But that was, like, really big for us. We loved that. Um, yeah. 
I'll just, you know, that's, I don't even know how it starts, but that's the stuff I remember about it, I guess I'd say. So when you guys met, was there a comic connection? No, and not at all, actually, which is, I was which still is funny. Hiding it. She, yeah, she, she was. I was hiding the so, fact that I was even a nerd, I guess. I mean, we met in a motorcycle training. We were getting our motorcycle licenses. That's how we met. But yeah. she, I, it was like, what do you think? Like two years later <laughs> that I found uh, something that she drew. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I was like, why, why don't you draw? And I like really kind of convinced her to start yeah. drawing. You know, I was like, don't waste this amazing talent. So I convinced her to start drawing and she got back into it. And I mean, obviously been loving it so ever yeah. since, of course. But yeah, like that was like the air, the time where she was, I guess, too nervous to show people. I guess, yeah. So, so yeah, there was- I guess all of my friends weren't really Daniel now. I was now the only I know. nerd. Yeah, he was a closet nerd He was nerd a closet too. nerd One we, of her best, best friends. friends yeah, and she had no school. idea. And they both were hiding <laughs> it from each other. <laughs> You know, so, it's, it's, funny, it's funny you guys say that because that is a uh, looking back. There was a lot of people like that growing up that just didn't want to share. I mean, maybe it's a little different now today's day and age because social media and everything is kind of everywhere. But growing up, like in the eighties or 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 whatever, you know, you kind of didn't share a lot of that stuff. Like I can remember there only being like maybe a handful of kids at my high school that liked comics or at least admitted to like yeah. yeah. Then there's two different things, but like there was like five out of three thousand, you know, yeah. kids that actually like, oh yeah, I'm in the comics and stuff. And it wasn't as mainstream as it is today with all the movies and everything like that. But uh, on my story, when I grew up, um, I just kind of I had a lot of older brothers and sisters, and they were quite a bit older, so they didn't really want to play with me. <laughs> so it's it's kind of sad, but they were much older. Yeah, so I'm in like I was like you know. So I found my outlet. Uh, I would ride my bike like you, probably six miles. I didn't know five miles. That's for- <laughs> you needed the extra mile. I've heard of going the extra mile. Now I know what they're yeah. talking about Wheeler when they say going the extra mile. <laughs> there it is. So I'd ride my bike into town and because uh, I kind of lived out in the country and stuff like that. And I'd buy some books with my allowance. I had like a couple dollars every week and, and that was it. I didn't really read the books. I just kind of looked at the pictures. I was more of an art uh, lover as well. And, uh, and eventually I started reading stuff, but I was picking up, you know, originally like the, like the Looney Tunes ones or the Disney ones. And that kind of translated into Avengers. And then I got a hold of the X-Men. I was like, holy crap. This is, uh, I, this is... I still have some still X-Men have comics from when I was. Yeah. Reading. And that kind of changed everything. And then I got more into Batman and DC stuff, Teen Titans, all that, all that good stuff. But I really didn't share it with anyone. You know, I didn't, I can't, my, like people ask me, oh, does any of your brothers and sisters collect comics? No, none of them. I have 11 brothers and sisters. None of them are interested in comic books. So I don't know what, it's just, just me. So I wish one of them was, my kids don't like comics either. So it's like, uh, I'm all all alone on this island. So it is what it is. But it's funny because as time goes on, you find out like, oh, your friend Tyler he liked comics too. He's like, well, why didn't he say anything? Well, he was embarrassed. And uh, I don't think people need to be embarrassed anymore. I think it's kind of a, it's part of our culture. It's actually a really strong part of our culture now, all these superheroes and these storytelling. And I think people should take a lot of pride in their joy for comics. And especially now, because you don't see a lot of younger audience as far as reading comic books, they're reading the manga, the anime stuff. They really like that. So, and then we kind of are in this uh, time uh, or this period of time where I don't know why they don't like regular superhero stuff, you know, or regular Spider-Man books or regular, you know, Batman books. They like the, the manga stuff, which I, I don't understand that. And maybe I'm just old fashioned, but that's just the way I am. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, my, like my, my kids, I think my, my son he was really he likes anime my daughter now she's in the dragon ball z and stuff like that and she has no interest in you know the stuff i i look at and it's kind of sad yeah i mean it's yeah but i have a grandson coming and trust me he's gonna like comic books because his first comic he gets is a hulk 181 that's his first to start his collection is a hulk 181 it's like it's a multi-thousand dollar book that's oh, his yeah. first comic book so that's he better get into it because if he doesn't yeah. 
that's, that's awesome. It. That's awesome. Yeah, you gotta start them young. We we our kids are fine. Like uh -huh. they talked about comic books. Like we got him the Justice League versus Godzilla. Yeah, because he's, he's really into Godzilla. Godzilla. So fan. that was like our opportunity to get him uh -huh. into the Justice League. Yeah, and he but, loves it. Like it's funny because like our older niece and stuff like kind of laugh at him a little bit. They're like, oh, they're talking about comic books. It's so old school. <laughs> like yeah. what are these little kids doing talking about comic books? But we love it. It's good, you know. And hopefully, it sticks with them, and we can have something in common as they get older. I think all parents should be required to get their kids into reading comic books. I think that should be a necessity. Well, I'm all for it. Let's get that get that and done. They they start drinking uh, comic book flavored coffee. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Goes hand on hand. Enter that cold dealer. You save fifteen percent. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I want the people who are watching, do me a favor. You know, if you're watching this video, let me know your origin story. Let us know in the comments down below. I love reading stuff like that. And uh, I've had a lot of people share that with me. And honestly, you'll hear a lot of very similar stories to what we just told. Kind of in the shadows, kind of keeping it private and stuff like that. And really didn't want to tell anyone that we were into this, quote, nerdy stuff. But let your nerd flag fly. Because you know what? We're all yeah. proud to be nerds. I mean, look at these two right there. Two of the biggest nerds on the other side of the country. Get right there. there. <laughs> not only are they nerds, but they decided to make coffee. Not just regular <laughs> coffee. They decided to make coffee that's based on the comic books. Who does that? Yeah. Who does that, by the way? It's these guys right here. These two right here. Yeah. So uh, anyway, that's our topic. Hopefully you guys uh, uh, enjoyed that. You know, I appreciate you guys sharing a little behind the curtain of how you guys got started. But we're going to flip into another segment. And this one is going to be interesting because this is the famous was it good segment. And just so everyone knows, this is all about delivery. It's all about delivery. So I'm just going to ask them about some other coffee. And I'm going to ask them, was it good? So... We're going to do this. And you guys can do the same to me when I'm done. You guys ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Tony, I'm going to start with you. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Tony. Yes. You that are. Lord of the Rings coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it, Bueller, I tell you, it is so good. I, I wish you could have tried it. It, it, uh, not to make you. <laughs> <laughs> jealous but yeah it's too good for you <laughs> too good for me wow wow you know okay i'll, I'll give you a pass no well, i don't know i'm just messing but it is really good it is really good yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll find out soon enough all right tanya it's your turn you ready for this <laughs> yeah yeah okay tanya tanya your uh batman dark night roast was it good Oh, it's good. <laughs> oh, are we talking about coffee? <laughs> no. <Yes. laughs> it's good. It's good. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go back to Tony. We're gonna give Tony one more shot. You got? Are you ready, Tony? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Tony, your Green Lantern coffee was it good? It was good. <laughs> uh, all right tanya you're gonna bring it home here we go you ready tanya are you ready <laughs> well, last one for you guys are you ready right. tanya the wonder woman coconut coffee <laughs> was it good <laughs> Uh, let me do an Elaine impression. Elaine? Elaine! You can't impress Elaine. No, you shut <laughs> up! I can't do it. It's so Violence. good. So Violence. good. Violence on the Beulah channel. I like it. No, shut up. She says, get out. Get out. Get out. Is that get right? Out. Get, yeah. get out. That's right. She, she oh, I screwed it up. across the table. Next time. But it was good. It was good. Okay. All right. Good. I'm going to give it to you guys. You guys got to do the same thing to me. You guys can handle this? Oh, I will. We'll try. All right, go, go, go ahead. I'll, I'm I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay, Bueller. Yes. <laughs> that <laughs> outbreak coffee 
was it good? Oh, it was good. <laughs> That's so much better. That's so much so better. Good. So good. <laughs> All right, Tanya, your turn to try. Try. <laughs> Killer. What are you drinking? Yes. <laughs> what are you drinking? Oh, come on. Come on. Whatever you're drinking, was it good? You have no idea <laughs> how good it was and is and always will be. Good. Mm. You've had more practice with this. A little bit. Bob had it too. Yeah, that was the eat a good dealer. Bob does there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is our was a good segment. I hope everyone enjoyed that because that was actually quite a bit of fun to do. I really enjoyed the, the moment. If, if people are watching, please forgive us for any yeah. bad mistakes we made. It's our first you time. You guys are, are doing fantastic. <laughs> You guys are doing great. But I kind of want to uh, go ahead and get to know you guys and your company a little bit more for everyone who's wondering about, about you guys. So let's let's kind of turn the page and put our business cap on here for a minute. Like I said, we've known each other for a while. We've been uh, working together for about four or five years. Um, every time I've, I've met you guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, you mentioned your sister. That was a pleasure meeting her, too. She's great, by the way. And, uh, but you guys are awesome. And I gotta tell you guys, I, I've, I've watched your company grow and I, I've had this conversation with you guys, but I remember when you guys reached out to me and you got, Hey, you know, we watch your show and we have this coffee and stuff. And you guys sent me a bunch of coffee and, uh, you said, uh, we tried it out. Me and Bob had it on the, the uh, uh, coffee and comic show. We enjoyed it. We liked it. So we put it on there. We had the Bueller code up and running. And I was curious to see how it would do, you know, for you guys. And this was like four or five years ago. This is when you guys are first getting out of the gate, trying to get your name out there. And I remember I, I got a call from you guys like a week later. And you're like, man, we had one of our best weeks, you know, from with the Bueller Code. And it was so, it made me feel so good to know that I made a difference for you guys. And because I like helping small businesses. That's kind of what I want to do. I know I can help move the needle for you guys, or I can help move the needle for black box comics. I don't think I can move the needle for Marvel or DC or something like that, but for smaller companies, I can do that. So let me ask you about your company. What made you guys decide to kind of get into this business and go the direction of coffee with the combination of comics? Well, so, I mean, as you can tell, like we just combined two of our passions. So like I, I, you know, out of college, I was trained by a master roaster, um, worked for a, like a local uh, marketplace, gourmet marketplace. They had like, I think maybe 50 different uh, origins of coffee. Um, I worked for them for about seven years, I think. Eventually, you know, I became their head roaster uh, and I loved it. I, I did move on to it, you know, on my own, follow my career path. Um, but I always loved coffee and roastings just you know i like the experiment i like the you know trying to build different flavor profiles it's just fun uh, and i always talked about it to tanya and finally you know we just said you know i missed it so much and we said let's let's just do it let's just you know start a small little company you know kind of just like a hobby really um so then we were like well what you know what's our niche well you know why would we you know convince people to you know, even try it. And we said, it's like, we both love co comic books. Like that's our passion. Uh, you know, let's just, let's just combine the two. How can we combine the two? So I, I don't know who came up with it first, her or me, but I think once it was you know, out there in the air, like, yeah, let's do comics on the coffee. It was just like, yeah. And then everything just kind of snowballed because now she can be part of it. Now she can draw and, and, you know, now she's doing design, not necessarily drawing it herself, but uh, you know, as a way like her get her into it, and, you know, more involved and part of the creating process, and I can still handle the roasting, and it just, uh, you know, that's where it kind of started from. What made you guys kind of go all in? Because I've, I, like I said, I've, I've watched your company kind of grow from maybe just a side thing to now being. This is what you guys do all the time, right? I mean, this is yeah. this is full yeah. time for you guys. You guys got people working for you. You're traveling the country, selling this stuff. 
what was the point where he's like, okay, we just got to just go for it, you know, and uh, just go all in. I mean, was that a, a tough decision to make or were you guys pretty confident that this is going to, this is going to take off? It, it's interesting uh, you bring that up because there was like a very definite point that we can say kind of was where we decided to actually, you know, go for it and try to make an actual business out of it. Because before that it was a hobby. Uh, and that point was uh, when we went to our first Megacon, we, we bought like the little cheapest, tiniest booth. Uh, you know, it was a hobby. Like we said, at the time we were just going to have, you know, kind of have fun, meet people. And, you know, that's what we were doing. Um, we like, took weeks to prepare i think we made <laughs> like 400 bags of coffee if i'm not mistaken yeah. and we thought like there's no way this is so much coffee like there's no way we can you know sell all that but you know we we did it anyway we said you know what what you know we don't sell there we can you know just sell off you know on the website or you know later that's fine we're just better we'll to be just over bring it back home. yeah we'd be better to be over prepared than under prepared and we showed up there and, and we sold out. We're so underprepared. Yeah. So we sold out so fast. Like we didn't even get to do it like the last day. It kind of worked out because the last day we didn't have anything to sell. So Sunday, yeah. Sunday we just kind of walked around and enjoyed the show. And um, the vendors. Yeah. And Sunday on the way home, we, we said, you know, I think we really have something here. Let's, you know, let's make this thing grow. Let's actually try and make a real business out of it. And that, that drive home was kind of when we mm -hmm. decided to, you know, invest in bigger equipment, bigger roasters, uh, a bigger facility. And that's kind of the starting point. Well, the nice thing is I was a witness to this. Mm -hmm. I saw this in real time. And mm -hmm. this was one of the first mega cons I went to and got to meet them for the first time. We have, we had already been doing business together. Uh, but I got to see this. I saw their booth. Their, it was a little booth. Like he said, the smallest one they could get. And I go by there when they're setting up and stuff, and I see all this great coffee and stuff like that. And every every now and then, I would stop by their booth again just to kind of see what was going on. And every time I stopped by, there were chunks of the booth that were missing, <laughs> selling so much coffee. And I remember by the end of Friday, you're like, I don't, well, we need more coffee. <laughs> you guys were kind of <laughs> freaking out because there wasn't that much left on Friday and yeah. stuff. And going into Saturday, I think you guys sold out before the end of the day. We yeah, did. We yeah. did. Yeah. And it was so awesome to see the response you guys had. And this is before the DC license. This yeah. is original artwork, first edition, you know, outbreak coffee, you know, <laughs> type of stuff that Tanya did herself, you know, with the artwork and stuff. This was selling out. And they just was, it was awesome to see that. Because like I said, this is a small uh independent company okay this these are these are the owners right here this these two people right here are the ones that put this together and to see, see their success is so nice to to witness and to be there in, in live and real person and to see it happening and to know that later that weekend that's when it decided that's awesome that's really cool that's I, i'm that's i didn't know that so i'm glad you guys shared that Let's jump ahead a little bit and let me talk about the DC license. Okay. When did you think to yourself, Hey, we need to go and get a license. And was that always the plan? Or, I mean, I'm assuming you probably pitched to a few different places, but DC was the one where you, you ended up. Um, and uh, this kind of obviously changed the game for you guys, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I mean, so we've kind of always both been team DC and obviously getting that license for us is like just dream come true. You know, we were, as you said, it's just Tanya and, and me, especially back then we didn't even have any employees and a uh, small company. So the thought that they would eat sitter, uh, Jane, you know, forces with us was kind of like unbelievable. Uh, it was a hail Mary, uh, but we, we approached them and um, gave them, you know, our information and, and got some of their contact information. Uh, and we, di we didn't really hear anything back. And we didn't expect to because it was, you know, Hail Mary, like, like I said. Um, but I had their mailing address from that first meeting at, a, at an expo. And so I just kept mailing them coffee samples, Tanya's art, uh, different flavors, uh, just kept mailing it to them, mailing it to them. Um, they were trying it at the office, you know, letting other people at the office drink it. 
and they were getting great responses on that. Uh, you know, they were saying like, hey, you know, keep buying this coffee. They, they didn't realize it was just being mailed to them. Uh, keep buying this coffee. Keep buying this coffee. We like it here. This is great coffee at the office. And so finally, when they did, they reached back out to us and, and said, well, you know, everyone lo is loving your coffee. Uh, you know, let's uh, let's talk about possibly making you guys, you know, the coffee for, you know, face for our company. So then we got to start actually negotiations on the contract at that point. So it's kind of how it got started. It's still kind of a, a Hail Mary. <laughs> They've been great to work with and, and unbelievable that that all this happened. Um, it still blows my mind. Like I still almost don't believe it. So. Yeah. <laughs> so Tanya, well, let me ask you, when you get the DC license and as an artwork fan that you are, and now knowing that, hey, you're going to have some of your favorite artists on your product, how did that feel? Uh, I mean, I had butterflies in my stomach for sure. For sure. Like, I remember it, like shaking in my stomach, the feeling, <laughs> because like now it's, it's just, it's crazy. And it's still to this day, like Tony said, it's still bizarre that, you know, they gave me access to all these images. I'm sure you, you know what I've, I've told you about it, but I mean, thousands of images and I literally narrow it down to my favorite artists. It's not just based on the character. I mean, if there's Ivan Reese, I mean, his name, you know, goes in the search bar and I see his art and that's pretty much how I design all our <laughs> stuff. Based on just based on my favorite yeah. artists. And uh, another part of that is just even getting, so we've gotten a chance to meet mm -hmm. most of these artists, like David, you know, um, and, and writers too. Uh, Jeff Johns, uh, Ivan Reese, even more uh, Jason <laughs> Faybook, uh, Jason Faybook. Um, we didn't ever met uh, Francis. Yeah, Francis Fran yeah, Francis Manipool. We never met David Finch in person, but we've had video talks with him. Uh, so like. Being on this side as fan, like we're fans. These are the people that like they're the top of the you know top of the chart as far as these artists and writers go. Legend. Yeah, they're they're absolute legends. So being fans yeah. and getting to actually like converse with them and meet them in person and have a dinner, it's just it's been so amazing and unbelievable. Like it still just blows our minds. Well, I have two more questions for you guys, and this is for both of you guys, but. What do you guys want people to know about comics on coffee? Go ahead. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do we want people to know? Uh, I guess we, I would say the number one, it's really good coffee. Every, mm -hmm. every product that we put out there, um, like I, I won't put a product out that I don't believe in, that I don't like. Um, so, you know, I go through all kinds of different tests and it, it, if it's a flavor that I just can't feel is good, we just don't produce it. So number one, it's good coffee. Um, and I, and number two is, would be just that, you know, we are comic book nerds. That's, that's who we are. Um, so <laughs> you want to take it? No, it's okay. Okay. Oh. She, you're like, and whispers at me. Um, but yeah, so we're, you know, we're part of the comic book community. That's, that's who we are. So we've always been, um, and we, we love being a part of the community. It's a, you know, it's a close, as you know, Bueller, it's a close tight knit community. And there's something special about being in this section of, of the marketplace because the people are just amazing. Yeah. Tanya, same question. You got to answer it now. I think he stole my answers. <laughs> You can just yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of people think, like, oh, it's just the packaging. Like, thank you, but no, it's also the coffee. It's good quality coffee, and you know, we all the flavors that Tony comes up with are. It's not like just whipped together. I mean, he takes a lot of time and effort to come up with a good roast and a flavor. You know, not all flavors are created equally, and this, I mean, there's a true science behind it. So, nice. it's really. So another question right here, what does the future hold for you guys? What, I mean, some stuff you guys probably can't talk about because I know you guys are always busy working behind the scenes, but uh, you know, what, what can we expect? You know what? I mean, you don't have to give it all away, but you got to give me something. Well, we just launched, we just signed the license with uh, ghost machine. So mm -hmm. as you know, those are all my favorite creators. It's Jason uh, Fabic. You got um, Jeff Johns. Ivan Reese, um, a lot of people um, we just mentioned, yeah. Francis, yeah. yeah, 
Um, <laughs> so that's that's definitely on the horizon. Um, we're, our uh, plan there is to do uh, kind of the same thing with each character that they come out. Like Rook mm -hmm. will have his own uh, uh, blend. Um, the Rockefellers with uh, Francis will be a coffee or maybe cocoa. We'll see what he wants to do with that. Yeah. Um, uh, Hyde Street is Ivan's uh, in Jeff's uh, comic. Mm -hmm. Red I don't coat. know. It might have to be a dark roast. Red coat uh -huh. will most likely be a tea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, so, yeah. So we've got a lot. Um, so, something cool that we could mention on this is, uh, and you might be interested in this. I am super excited about it. Is they're going to uh, the Ghost Machine team is going to put like a uh, a ghost machine coffee mm -hmm. like in their stories so like oh, they're gonna be, like, it's going to be like in several different stories throughout the different worlds like ghost machine coffee is going to be like, kind of like uh, the way i imagine it is like um uh oh i'm, I'm having a brain fart the big oh, belly yeah. the big belly it's bird like, the flash it's like, new, it's like new coca cola in fallout yes yes exactly yeah. so they're going to do something like that but with the coffee brand so for us that's super exciting uh, it'd be cool to see, you know, the coffee that we make, uh, it, you know, just showing up in all these comic books and the characters in drinking their, it. In yeah, their in their worlds. World. It's going to be super exciting for us. So that's cool. So when is the first appearance of the coffee in the comics? Because <laughs> that will be our key. That will be our key. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's, I, I think that's up to Jeff Johns. Yeah, it is. And so, we, we, haven't, we haven't gotten like a set date on that yet, but. So, yeah, he's definitely you know said that's the plan, and we're super excited for that. Yeah, my goal with uh, Ghost Machine is for one of the artists to draw their characters drinking our coffee. Yeah, sure. that's cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Pin that up over here somewhere. Well, before we get to our, our uh, final segment, our final five, let me just ask you guys: Where can people get your coffee besides the website? Uh, which you can obviously use the code Bueller to save fifteen percent on the website. And there's a bunch of stuff there, including some mugs. I think you still got T-shirts on there. Yeah, we. I mean, Printify is. Uh, yeah, we just changed the Printify. Yeah, it, I, we couldn't keep up with the making the shirts making ourselves. The shirt, yeah. yeah, so yeah. so we kind of outsource that. Yeah, and who knows? There might be some original artwork of myself on there. Uh, digital version or something like that, you know. But anyway, where where are the other places besides the website? Where where are some other places they can pick up your coffee? Uh, most comic shops now carry our coffee, um, so you can always ask your local comic shop if they carry our coffee. Um, if they don't, just put in a request, add it to your pull list. Um, Box yes, lunch. It's on, it's on Diamond, right? Lunar. Lunar. Okay, Lunar. Okay, there we go. Yep. Um, Box lunch. So. I think most box lunch stores have our coffee. Mm -hmm. It's all across the U.S. Um, Amazon is another uh, spot to get our coffee. Anything else? Let's see. Uh, yeah, right? pretty much covered it. Yeah. Com uh, uh, conventions. Amazon's a little limited on the flavors that we do. We're, we're okay. not too too full on there, but you can get some of them. You, you can get at MegaCon as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. conventions. Uh, yeah. Conventions. Conventions. Yeah, yeah, Tony will be in Calgary. And a couple weeks. weeks, yeah. Uh, right. Dallas, um, Denver, Denver, so Raleigh, yeah, Charlotte. We'll be around. <laughs> and eventually, you'll make it out here to Oregon, and that's where the real tests will come because they're we're coming yeah. out here. Yeah, yeah. So we can hear. It. So definitely yeah. have to make that on our trip. That's list. funny because I think over fifty percent of our customers are from the West Coast, California, awesome. Oregon. So we, I mean. Well, it's because it's because of me, right? Right. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get to our final five, and so you guys are going to have to bust out five other bags of coffee. But I'm going to show you my uh, my books first. Okay. You kind, of, you kind of stole my thunder a little bit, but uh, but that's okay. But I, I'm going to miss this first book for the final five is actually a book from a friend of mine. I think you guys know Jonathan, uh, but I just got it in the oh, mail. Man. It's Still Blood. It's oh, the, uh, or, uh, was it the Kickstarter exclusive? That's from Jonathan Hendricks? Yes. So, Hendrick. Yeah, I never say his name right. She did a cover for him before. Yeah, I, oh. you guys did the, the, uh, uh, well, the recount copy. Well, uh, we yeah. did the copy, but she actually drew a cover for one of his comic books, um, Caffeinated, Caffeinated Hearts. Oh, so she oh, did that's a, I, she did, like, a very long cover. 
I have, one? I, have, I have the one you drew. Ah, cool. cool. It's good. I like it. Yeah. yeah, very cool. I think it's it's signed by it's signed by uh, Jonathan, but I need to get you to sign it. Cool. cool. I will. Yeah, it's the artist. You should. Cover artist. So, Cover artist. Here's the rest of my final five. Like I said, you kind of stole my thunder on this. But we have the Ghost Machine special. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And then we also have Rook Exodus. Oh, nice. This week. We have Geiger as well. And Perfect. we have Redcoat number one. So all these titles, like we said earlier, like I said, they stole my thunder. They have a new coffee blend for these and which is pretty awesome because i know you're always trying to to move the product forward with more and more license more and more stuff with comic books and i when you guys show i don't think you guys let the cat out of the bag on this one normally she does normally she tells me everything but on this one <laughs> no i know but on this one I, I didn't i didn't know so that was really cool to see so when does that uh blend come out for Ghost for, machine. The, for which what are you talking about now? The ghost so we, machine coffee. So we have um, a ghost machine coffee that matches just that that first uh, ghost machine that's coming out. Um, it's probably April nineteenth. April nineteenth. It's on pre order now. It's called but a ghost. It's actually going to be launched on uh, April nineteenth. Um, but we're also doing co coffees, and we don't have a dates on those yet. But for each one of those titles that you brought up, we'll be doing. Nice. Different copies of those as well. So, who came up with Ghost Roast? <laughs> you? Does it sound dumb? Oh, I, I like it. Me. <laughs> if it sounds good, then who was it? It's Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. All right, guys, it's your turn for the final five. So, you guys got to show something. You guys got to put something out. Here, show, that was supposed to be one of them. Can I show the scarecrow? Yeah, there you go. Scarecrow. Okay, what flavor is that? Pumpkin spice for scarecrow. It's no longer available. No longer available. No longer available. <laughs> so don't get anybody excited about it. Sorry. You didn't. So if anyone has their their bag of pumpkin spice scarecrow coffee, send it to CGC because it's limited. They've graded it for you. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So here's our Batman Dark Knight Roast. Ooh, one of my favorites. Second print. Yeah. So yeah. So our first um, the cover know. was Jim Lee. You got it framed right over there. I like um, that you guys switch up the covers every now and then. I think I think the switch up the packaging is a good idea. Yeah, so customer Javier sent this to us. This was our first bag. Um first license with uh DC. So yeah. this was our first print. Um second print. You know what our third print's gonna be for Batman, right? Mm -hmm. Is is Wait. it what we talked about? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, well, what did you say? We'll leave it as we'll leave it a secret. Okay. <laughs> well, All right. Yeah, I, I'm gonna put you on the on this. When will people kind of find out when that third print comes out? How about can you tell me that at least? Hmm. Probably closer to September. Batman closer Day. We'll oh, find September. out. Or when it's We're available. launching it on Batman Day, right? Right. Okay. So and we'll find we'll out. Announce it whenever. Yeah, whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> You guys gotta do, do me a favor when that comes out. Uh, either both of you or one of you are gonna have to come back and we'll do a special video to announce that bag because I know what it is and uh, it's it's I'm I, I gotta get a few of them so <laughs> so anyway, okay, what, what else you got for your final five? We got the Joker, nice. second print. So the Joker is my favorite because the three Jokers, it. right. Yeah. So I'm trying to the goal. So this was our first print, right? Mm -hmm. So we got the second print, and then that's the ideas. Yeah. Do the three jokers. Do yeah. the three jokers. Did you like that book? I loved it. Yeah. It was good. Because mm -hmm. there's like yeah. three of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're kind of like reading through, and you're like, wait, which one is he? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. What else? Was that? I think you got one more. There Sinestro. We go. It's like a dark roast blend. Yep. Uh, so that's Batman mixed with, you remember the Shepherd? Mm -hmm. So it turns out that's a really good blend. Um, nice. 
All right, right. Yeah, you gotta show that. If you're gonna show both those characters, then you gotta show the back. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Those are, those are the ones that they had at the the TFA. Thanks for another world at my local comic shop. Oh, okay. At the Green Lantern blend. Is there anything else you guys want to show? There we go. That's what I was waiting for. The Lord of the Rings one that they're hiding from me. Now, something kind of cool. You actually got to give a bag of this to Frodo himself. Yeah, and he, he signed one and sent one back to me. Yeah. 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 Then, can, I, can, I just, can I just share what you told me about that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, because I remember you telling me the story. Like You, you, you gave it, and he's like, is this licensed? <laughs> basically he was much more uh coof than that so what he yeah. asked the way he, he asked it i mean i i know that's what he was asking but the way he asked is he looks at it and he goes uh where did you get the images for this <laughs> that's how and i was like oh and so then i got to tell him yeah we are fully licensed with warner brothers so you know we get to pull the imaging off their uh databases and then he was like oh that's great you know and then yeah. he, you know really was into it but he definitely checked beforehand <laughs> in a very polite, couth way. So he was very stand up about it. Very cool. Very cool. Well, one last thing before we go. Uh, you guys just recently started a YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. We did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, uh, yes, we did. <laughs> and and uh, uh, go ahead. what's the name of the YouTube channel? Just Comics on Coffee. So the same thing all across the board. Yeah. 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 And what can we expect from this YouTube channel? Are you guys going to be doing tons of videos? Are you guys secretly want to be YouTube celebrities? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. Uh, the less our faces are on the internet, probably the better. <laughs> the, better the better for everybody. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. No, we, we're, we're talking about it. Um, Tony just got some coffee plants. Oh, yeah. yeah. And like... He could probably tell you more about that, but I'm excited for it because I think it'd be awesome if we could actually grow coffee plants. I mean, know, just to be clear, process. we're just messing around, just goofing fun. around, yeah. seeing this this end of the business. But yeah, so I got like a bunch of coffee um, plants, and we're seeing if we can grow it. We live in Florida, so I mean, it's low altitude. You know, I don't know what to expect from it. Uh, I got arabica, but. Um, I'm just gonna see the process, see you know how how it goes, and I kind of want to document. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, so I think that's kind of. So you started it for that. So we're, I guess so yeah, the document. The process. We're gonna be watching videos of stuff grow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get a lot of time on your hands. There's a half hour of this plant growing. It's like it didn't move much. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Uh, oh, hopefully there's something called time lapse involved. <laughs> yeah, you guys, yeah, you guys just do a live 24-hour live stream. <laughs> just log in and watch our plants grow anytime you want. No, I, I, I'd also like to draw. Like, I really, I, I don't know if I can uh, get the time to draw on, on screen. Yeah, but I always like to say, you know, you got to make time for the things you love. So, obviously, drawing, if you don't draw, like, I've seen my, my skills have gone, like, plummeted after we started after this. After we got the one of those contracts. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I want to really practice some more. And I figured when I post, like, images of my art, people love it. So, I figured why not um, do some cool. videos and talk nonsense, nonsense yeah. as I... Uh, Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and and you've been on YouTube before. I've seen you on other shows, do drawing and stuff like that with uh, Rod and stuff like that. So it's it's really cool. Yeah. He needs but, to bring that back. Yeah, yeah he, awesome. I love that. This is that guy. Um, I, I I I just a random question popped in my head. I don't know why this popped in my head, but what's uh, Tony? What's your sister's favorite coffee? This is a trick question. <laughs> It is. I'm gonna make sure she watches this. She's gonna be it's, so mad. <laughs> it's, uh, let's just say to be determined. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> there you go. But uh, you know what? I think that's everything uh, that I wanted to cover with you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for coming on today. It's been a long time coming. Like I said at the very beginning. Uh, hopefully, everyone who's watching got to know you guys a little bit better. Check them out at your local cons. Uh, he just. Uh, Gave a list of some of the cons they're going to. Obviously, Florida is where they're at. 
And if you're ever in uh, MegaCon, I just want to let you guys know, we talked about this before. When they first started MegaCon, they had a little booth. Now they are a sponsor of MegaCon. Mm -hmm. They have a front and center on the red carpet, big, huge booth. And they're selling coffee hand over fist. And it's pretty awesome to see that, guys. But thank you guys so much for coming on today. Uh, you just want to say goodbye and just do me a favor. Plug your website for me one more time before we go. Yeah, it's comicsoncoffee.com. You can find you all go. our coffees there. Um, Ghost Roast is available for pre-orders right now. Those will ship out probably around April 19th. Uh, it's a light roast. I know you're going to like that one. Nice. Um, yeah, so check it out. Um, comicsoncoffee.com. We've got Amazon. You can probably just search in Batman Coffee and your local comic shops. There you go. And also, don't forget, you can use that cool Bueller and you save 15% on your coffee uh, needs. Um, if you're curious to see what the, how to spell Bueller, my logo used to be at the very top of the website, but now it's at the bottom of the website. <laughs> <laughs> Confusing everybody, Bueller. But anyway, anyway, thank you guys so much for coming oh, on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, uh, nice jab. Nice jab. What a good way to end it. I, 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 I really, oh man, he did. And I have no response. I really enjoy you guys. And uh, I always have a blast talking to you both. So I wish you guys nothing but success. And it's been a pleasure to be a part of you guys' journey. And I'm, I'm looking forward to more and more years and seeing what you guys have in store for us. So I thank you very much. I want to wish you guys a great weekend. And for everyone watching, please don't forget to check out the website and don't forget to like and subscribe. Go check out their YouTube channel so you can watch plants grow. You guys know what to do. Don't forget to live your best life as well. Bye. Bye. Thank you.